Amazon's The Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, and I'm sitting with, well, Lord of the Rings' first family, Isildur's family. Sorry, I know you're the father, I should. He's not going to like that. He's not going to like that. that. He's not going to like it. (laughs) (laughs) But you know, Isildur as a name is almost mythical, especially for those who have read the books, as someone who's also watched the the original trilogy. I'll start, I'm so sorry again, I'm going to start with Isildur. What, What was it like playing this character that, you know, who has a reputation and someone who you know is kind of going to turn at some point by the ring? Because we, I mean, that's just something we know. Um, how was it playing that character, knowing this information that you know that that Isildur is going to struggle when he gets the ring? Does it impact your performance? Or well, speaking as his father, <laughs> <laughs> I guess everyone has a sense of ownership over him because they've seen him in the movies or yeah. they've, they've read about him. So, in in that way, I, I definitely feel the weight of expectation. But the beauty of this show is we're starting at the very beginning, hmm. and you know, in season one, he's this young um, sailor. Yeah on the cusp of adulthood who's, who's trying to fill an emptiness and a void inside him with the death of his, uh, with the death of his mother. Yeah. So I'm not thinking about the end. I'm just trying to create this character from the ground up yeah. and, and make him kind of honest, or as honest as I possibly okay. could. Cause yeah. I, and he's really funny yeah. as well that, that I, re- <laughs> I found out whilst I was filming the first season is, is, is that he's quite funny. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as, as A.R.J., you know, a, a, a very new character, something that's written from scratch, especially because I look at it as Tolkien and Tolkien and 21st century coming together, you know, like uh, trying, trying to flesh out uh, Arian as a, as a female character outside. Mm-hmm. So what was that experience like? And also, you know, bearing the weight of, the, of you know, the Isildur family line. How exactly did you negotiate the two? Well, I remember when I was told that I would be playing his younger sister, uh, the first thing I did was look through some books I had to see yeah. if she could have existed. Yeah. And yeah, women were often, you know, just not mentioned yeah. in, in the family tree, so she, yeah. she could have. Um, Playing her was was so much fun. I mean, the, I got to spend a lot of time with Maxim, and I got to spend a lot of time with Lloyd. Um, the The story of the family is so mythic, but like, of course, when you're on set, all that matters is sort of bringing the relationship to life. Yeah. Um, so that was that was a delight. Maxim and I spent lots of time doing like extreme sports and things like yeah. that, trying to get to know each other. And I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about it was all right. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, did you have very like physical scenes to do? You know, in, in a lot of like battles. Of course, I, I know you can't give too much away, but was it a, was it very physically grueling? Because I, I, I've spoken to everyone else, and I think that you guys might have some of the most physically grueling scenes. I, I, I guess we had so, we had some, didn't we? We, we did a lot of training, and, yeah. and at, the, at the beginning, we did training for everyone because we we weren't sure. And I'm sure the writers knew who was going to be involved in action, but a lot of us yeah. had to work very much. And in our case, a lot of horse riding, sailing lessons, because being on the island of Numenor, mm. that's an important part of it. So, yeah, we had to stay fit and well, didn't we? And it was quite demanding at times. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure it was. But again, coming back to, you know, a, a new character, yeah. is it something, you know, Tol- Tolkien fanboys, as, somebody, as a Tolkien fanboy, sure. I know that as a community, we're very kind of ruthless, I guess, you know, it, it, when, when things aren't, you know, according to what our perception of what mm. it, it could be. Uh, is that something that, you know, sometimes bothers you? Or is that something that you kind of take in your stride as an actor? How do you deal with that? Um, you know, I spent quite a bit of time on the Rings of Power Reddit. Oh, <laughs> for I, better or for I worse. Don't, don't do it. So I, idea. Don't I, I found it yeah. fascinating. I, I, I liked, you know, the, there are a few threads about her and, and mm. reasons why it doesn't make sense to some people and reasons why it does. Yeah. Um, I find that all very interesting. Thanks so so much, guys, for talking to me. Just before I let you go, one final question I'm asking the entire cast. Who is the biggest Lord of the Rings fan from the cast? Everyone is given one answer. After, I just after to three. Well, one, one, two, two three. Rob Aramel. Well done, guys. That was everyone's answer. <laughs> except, except he's just obsessed with Elrond, really. That's all he, that's all he wants to talk about. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.